Hi, my name is David Risley with PCMech.com here with another answer to a user submitted question. Uh, this person says that they have a computer which will not turn on anymore. They've apparently had it to Best Buy, they've had the power supply tested, and Best Buy is reporting that the motherboard is bad. So basically what's happening is that they're hitting the power switch and nothing happens. So this does happen from time to time. There are a few things. Basically, like any PC troubleshooting, you have to take it as a process of elimination. So <clears throat> when you're, uh, the first thing you obviously want to do is test the power supply. Now, I'm assuming that Best Buy did that. Usually, you could either get a, uh, a power supply tester and, uh, and uh, test the power supply that way. Or if you have a spare power supply, you can also just flip in another power supply and see if the computer boots up. Now I'm assuming that Best Buy did this and uh, they've already tested it and they've elected that the power supply is not bad. So we're going to go ahead and move on from there. The uh, next thing that I would be interested in would be grounding inside the computer. Now when you basically if you have a loose screw or anything that's inside the case is metallic and it's touching the motherboard itself it could ground the motherboard and will keep the entire thing from starting up. So basically what you want to do is just uh, open up the case go inside and see if there's anything in there that's loose uh, maybe the motherboard is in some way touching the uh, the case itself if that's the case you definitely want to uh, to uh, use some motherboard spacers and get that off of the uh, motherboard plate itself inside the case. The next thing you're going to want to check out would be the CPU itself. Now it's probably not going to be the CPU because uh, well the reason I mentioned the CPU is because if the CPU is overheating because it has inadequate cooling the, uh, the computer is just going to turn itself off in order to protect the processor. However, um, usually what happens in an overheating situation is that the computer will begin to boot and then it will shut itself off. The fact that you're hitting the power button and getting absolutely nothing happening tells me it's probably not your CPU. The, uh, the other thing that I would be interested in checking out would be the, uh, the power, power switch itself. So basically what, what could be happening is that your motherboard is fine but the connection between your power switch and the case and the motherboard is defective. So the way you'd want to test this is you'd want to uh, open up the case and you'd want to go to the little uh, set of pins that's on the motherboard. You'll find that the power switch lead is going to be a little black rectangular uh, two pin connector that's connected into two pins on the motherboard itself. So what you want to do is remove that connector and then take like a paper clip or something like that and you'll want to uh, bend it and then use that metallic paper clip to touch those two pins at the same time. You want to be very careful that you don't touch those two pins and connect them with any other pins on the board. You want to only uh, artificially basically uh, form an electrical connection between those two pins. If the PC then boots up then you know that the switch on your case is bad or the wire that goes from your switch to the motherboard is bad. If it still does not boot up then you, what probably the case is that your motherboard has gone bad. So you say that Best Buy said it's the motherboard. After all is said and done, it actually could be your motherboard. In which case, you know, you're looking at essentially rebuilding the computer. Um, you know, because mo changing the motherboard out is kind of a big deal. But I would definitely check that power switch first by shorting out those two PSU pins and uh, and seeing if it turns on. That would be the the ultimate test. And then. Uh, from there, uh, you're looking at a motherboard replacement. So I wish you the best of luck with that, and uh, thanks for submitting your question.